Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Leftovers. Now, this is a horror game where I think we have to sort of give food orders to different people that our mum's cooking, I think. I just looked at the pictures for this game and the art style really struck me. It's got that kind of hand-drawn art style I like. So I thought let's dive in today and see what Leftovers is all about. It's a short and sweet horror game, I think. A nice one-off game that we can play on the channel. So basically just thought it would be fun to try today. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Leftovers. Here we go. So there's our mum. Boy, I need your help, please. Talk to mom. Okay, so how do we interact? Just left click. I cooked too much today. Can you be a deer, please, and give the leftovers away to our neighbours? Ah, okay, so we nod to say yes. Is that right? When the cursor turns to a question mark, respond by nodding or shaking your head with a mouse. It's okay, dear. They're not going to bite. You'll have to be a big boy one day and learn to take care of your mum, all right? Don't be like your dad. I've put 10 boxes of leftovers in the bag beside you. Pick it up for me. Okay, 10 leftovers in the bag. There we go. I'm sorry for troubling you, dear, but mummy's been busy with dinner. I know I've taught you never to talk to strangers, but you're not going to let me down, right? Uh, I guess not. Let's go and deliver these leftovers then. She's just cooking away. So, do we go through this door here? Leave home. By the way, don't come back until you're done, okay? Alright, we've got 10 leftovers to deliver then. So if we just come out of there, is this the first one we've got to deliver? Knock, knock. Oh, I hear someone coming over. Who's this? Oh. Nice old woman. Whoa, she's getting a bit closer though. That's a bit... Our personal space is there. Hello, you must be the little boy from next door. What brings you here? Press an old right click to show the leftover. Here you go. What's this? Hmm, my favourites. Please give my thanks to your parents. By the way, have you been a good boy? Uh, yes, I have. I'm nodding. How do I... I'm nodding for you. Ah, that's good to hear. Please continue to take care of your parents then. Well, good night now. We've had two games this week where I've been playing games that it's called Good Boy or they keep referencing Good Boy in them. It's kind of strange. Strange coincidence, I guess. But that nodding mechanic doesn't work too well either because I just did it and like, it took ages to work. Anyway, door number two now. Let's see what neighbour number two has to say. Coming over. What do you want? Alright, um, leftovers? Ooh, that smells delicious. She's got like a scar on her face. Her eyes look really like wizened, don't they? Like withered around her eyes. Do I need to pay? And I'm going to say, no, you do not need to pay. Oh, look at her face. Look at her teeth. Ha, ah, what an idiot. Okay, so we've just given them the leftovers. They've gone. Fair enough, because we've now got eight. So let's go to the next door and knock on that. We knocked on the side of a door, not on the actual door. Okay. Who's going to come out of this one? It's kind of spooky not knowing who's coming out. This guy looks like um, he's into his comic books. I assume it's a guy, right? He says, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, leftovers. Here you go. Your mum's leftovers? Nobody wants that. All right, rude. Wait, you are the son of that beautiful chick from level 9? Uh, sure. That working? There you go. Oh, he's dribbling. Mmm, I'll be sure to savour this while it's still warm then. That's so gross. This guy is a pervert, to say the least. Back in you go to watch, uh... I don't know, whatever you're watching, man. We don't want to know what you're watching. We've got seven leftovers left. Um, that's a alliteration for you. We'll go to this door next, and knock on it. Sounds like somebody is taking a shower, so I should come back later. Do we, these don't have door numbers, it's like really hard to remember, but it's level 7, and it's the left hand side, okay. Try the right hand side. 
Someone's coming over. <sighs> what do you want, kid? I'm busy. Uh, leftovers? Seriously? Ah, uh, I guess this is somewhat tiring work. You know what? Just leave it outside the door. Thanks. Okay. Grumpy old man. So, uh... Oh, maybe put it here, right? <laughs> Just leave it there. Okay. We'll come back to the other door later, so that's level 7 we need to remember. As long as it doesn't make me remember too much at once, I'm recording this fairly early in the morning, so I don't know how my memory's gonna hold up. Knock on this one. Oh, someone's coming over. Oh, okay, she is uh, <laughs> very, very creepy. Well, aren't you an adorable one? What brings you here? Uh, food? My, my, how thoughtful of you. You must be tired from walking up and down the stairs. How about you come in and rest for a while? I don't know, do we come into our house? I don't think that's like a bad idea. I'm gonna say no, 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 no. Or maybe next time. All right, I'm not going into that house. No way. I feel like that would be a game over, right? Even I don't even know if it's a game over screen in this game. Like, it might not be possible to like die in it. No one is home. Okay, so we've got level six, right hand side door. Nobody's home. So seven left and six right. Level five next. Let's see who's on level five. I don't want to talk to her, she's going to bully me like in school, Oh. Alright, knock on here. Looks like no one is home, okay. So, can't deliver to those ones. Level 4, ooh, this door's open, what the heck. We knock on it? Call out, hello? Food, I smell food, what the heck is that? Place for food. And leave. Oh god, wow. Thank you. So he's like injured, that guy. But surely if he is having to crawl on the ground in bandages, he should still be in a hospital or a care home. You know, not just by himself in his house. And especially if he's making those kind of noises too. <laughs> that didn't sound healthy. What about here? Anyone anyone in? Nope. Wow, nobody's home on the lower levels. It's like if they all go to work. <laughs> The people higher up just don't bother going to work. Or maybe it's for weekend and they just don't work. Oh, I can hear someone inside here, or it might be like a dog. Yeah, it's like a little dog barking. Yeah, what do you want? Alright, mate. Uh, here, have some leftover food. Oh man, you caught me in the best time possible. I almost decided to eat this little dog. The dog, okay. He's gonna eat the dog. This guy's a complete psycho. This whole building is full of weird people. Never mind. Thank you. We saved a dog's life. We used to have a bag of food down here, but some girl kept trying to steal it. I guess she succeeded. <sighs> Goodbye. Could that schoolgirl be... Yeah, maybe it's the girl upstairs. I can't remember what floor she was on now. Is it just one floor up? Anyone here? Someone's definitely coming to this door. Okay, he's got an arm missing and he's all bandaged up. What What do you want here, boy? Has he got a carving knife as well? I think he has. Just got some leftovers for you, man. Oh, it's fine, little one. I'm not hungry at all. How about a chat instead? I mean, he's got that knife. I'm gonna say... Nah, I'm good. Oh, please, I insist. He's got, like, cats inside screaming out. Thank you, it's been such a long time since I had a chat. You see, my wife just recently passed away. So it gets pretty lonely after a while. Especially this place. It gets you eventually. For example, it felt like it was only yesterday that I met my wife. At the same time, I felt like it was only yesterday but I found her lifeless body. This guy is, uh, <laughs> he's not got all his marbles. With a knife stuck in her throat, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut to the chase, boy. 
Tell me, do you think it's wrong for an innocent person to get murdered? Uh, yes, obviously. Do you think anger is normal when someone hurts our loved ones? Uh, yeah, I do think that you should be angry, potentially. Do you think murderers should be punished? I do think they should be punished, but not by, like, killing them. <laughs> then, if you found out your loved ones, for example, your mum is a murderer, do you think she should be punished? I mean, if she murdered, then yes, but I feel like this guy's talking about a different kind of punishment. I'm talking about, you know, let's put them in jail, right? So honest. So innocent. It seems that all is not lost. He looks happy now. Come in and rest for a bit, I insist. Oh god, we're in. Come into the house. Don't worry about your mum. I'll get her. Game over. Okay, restart conversation. Okay, so we failed that. He's gonna go and get the mum and like kill her. Okay, so I guess we just knock on the door and we say like no to some of his questions this time. When it turns out loved ones, for example, your mum is a murderer, do you think she should be punished? I'm gonna say no, because I think he's talking about our mum being a murderer. How hypocritical of you. That's all for now. Thank you for entertaining this old man. I didn't know what that was about. So wait, did the mum, did our mum, like, murder somebody, I wonder? That's interesting. But we passed this test this time, and um, we've carried on. We're on the bottom floor now. Wait, is this the bag of food from earlier? Why is there a bag of dog food here? Because the guy upstairs who had the dog, who he said he was going to eat, <laughs> or we expected he was going to eat, he was missing a bag of dog food, I think. So that's interesting. No one's home there. Let's try this other door. Anybody in? Somebody's definitely in this. I can hear somebody walking the flat. Oh, it's a younger woman, and she's looking kind of scary as well. Like, everybody in this game looks kind of creepy, you know? <laughs> she says, oh, hey, is this the rumoured tradition whenever a new neighbour moves in? Yeah, you get food. Wow, yes. Sorry, I've never experienced this before. <laughs> uh, what's this dish called? She doesn't look impressed by it. Oh, sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it looks so slimy. Uh, thanks, I guess. Wait, is that an eyeball? Oh, uh, is our mum like some kind of murderer that cooks people? I feel like our mum and a lot of the people in this block are like murderers or something. Anyway, let's go back upstairs, see if we can speak to the neighbour maybe you had the dog, right? And tell him the dog food is downstairs. Don't remember which door he was in. I think he might have been level three. We can definitely go back to level 7 and level 6, because they both had doors that we could knock on. Right, let's go back to level 5, let's try this door. I want to speak to the guy with the dog again. He's coming over. Can we tell him about the food downstairs now? Oh, it's this is the schoolgirl's house. Okay, I got the wrong door, but she's answered now. Well, well, if it isn't the little crybaby, what are you doing here without your mummy and daddy? Is that food I smell? Give it to me. Yeah, here you go. Have the food. The <laughs> leftovers. Whatever leftovers means. Is it human flesh? I don't know, but you're welcome to it. She says, Ha, ah, I see you finally gaining some common sense. Hmm, you think I'm the one stealing their food? Damn right I am. I've hidden it away. I've got to teach that man a lesson. His dog licked me the other day. How disgusting. Heh. <sighs> His dog will probably starve to death any time now. Don't you even think about ruining my plan. She's a bundle of laughs, isn't she? Okay guys, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna see if we can get that dog food now and give it back to the neighbor. Now we've heard that the uh, school girl, the bully has hidden it. Yeah, pick up stolen dog food, we can. So now I'm gonna take the stolen dog food back to the owner. I think he's at floor two in the flat on the left hand side. So let's click here, and return the food to him. Right, yeah, this is him. 
You got back our food? Thank God. Just put the bag back. Okay. Uh, crap. Gotta go, kid. Thanks again. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust any of these people. But here we go. We've put the food back. <laughs> it was literally hidden one floor down. Oh no, she's seen us. She's not going to be happy, guys. Um, don't mind me. You'll regret this. Oh, so we've annoyed her. Okay, well, we've got one more food delivery to do, so I'm going to go and check on the shower room and see if we can... Uh, oh, sorry, not the shower room. On the apartment with the person showering and see if they've got out of the shower yet. Hopefully they're out there shower and dressed again. Oh, hello. She is quite attractive. Talk to neighbour. Hey, you're the cute little kid from level 9. What are you doing all alone at night? Uh, I've got leftovers for you. Oh, you cutie. You must be so tired. Oh, wow. Your mum really made this? I just have to know her recipe. She's calling her. Okay. Hi, Hillary. It's me, Laura. Yeah, your sweet little kid just handed it to me. Kenneth is a very lucky man to have you cook for him every day, huh? What do you mean, was? Ah, oh, let me guess. He finally told you about us. <laughs> what, was he having an affair with this woman? Did she just be so brazen as to, like, rub it in her face? Huh? What do you mean that's not what you meant? So wait, our dad was having an affair with this Laura woman. Maybe the dad is the one, like, who's ended up in these leftovers. She's cooked for husband. Uh, she's alarmed by something. You psycho bitch! You better not move, kid. I need to go home to mommy. Oh, he's saying I need to... Oh my god! <coughs> Run! Wow, she's trying to kill us. Let's go upstairs then. Holy crap, I thought I told you not to move. What the heck just happened? That actually scared me, man, because I didn't expect it. Restart the chase. Yeah, sure. I'm going. It's time we're running, guys. She's coming after us. Quick. Keep going, keep going. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. Oh my god. There's the bully. <laughs> uh, she's trying to block us. She's blocking us. Okay. That was bad. The bully was there, but her face was all, like, torn up. Did you guys see that? Let's restart the chase. Okay, this time we have to run. Well, actually, there isn't a run button. We have to go as quickly as we can. So this time, we're going to have to run around the bully at the top of the stairs. So she goes there. Let's run past her. Screw you. Look at her face. It's all, like, screwed up. Anyway, we're going to go in here. Return home. And there we go. We made it. Good job, dear. I'm very proud of you. I just noticed the pictures up there as well, look. Like a sad boy holding a ball or something. Um, now go to your room and go to bed. Mummy's got some leftover business to take care of. She's got a knife as well. The end. That was such a weird ending and a weird game. Like, essentially, oh, it's got a question mark, the end, hmm. So I guess there might be like more to that. Maybe, I don't know, but I feel like we got the ending right. Like I understood the story just fine. Our dad cheated on the mother with the neighbor downstairs and so she killed him and cooked him up and served him to the rest of the apartment block. There was obviously that bully downstairs who was like messing with that guy's food and uh, we got the dog food back to him. And something happened to her face though, the schoolgirl's face being all messed up at the end, I don't understand that part. But I think I'm done with this game, like I feel like I've seen enough from it. I'm happy with the playthrough we've done today for this game, I'm happy with what we've seen, and I've enjoyed the game, so uh, I will leave a link to it, of course, as always, in the description box below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. That's it guys, thanks for watching this video today, if you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all on the next one.